Good afternoon, everyone. I am Melanie Stansbury, and I am proud to represent New Mexico's first congressional district, and it is so wonderful to be here with you today. I want to thank President Pinson for your welcoming remarks and New Mexico EBSCOR for inviting me to join you all today virtually. I've spent my career dedicated to building a more sustainable future for New Mexico, like many of you. I've worked for many years as a water resources professional, working on drought, water resources planning, protecting our acequias and traditional water users, and restoring our rivers. But my work has also included working on the grid and solar and ensuring that we help New Mexico step foot into a 21st century clean energy economy. For me, building a more sustainable future for New Mexico, whether it's in water or building a 21st century clean energy economy is all about our people. It's about building the kind of future we wish to see and ensuring that the people inside of our communities have meaningful jobs and can live here for generations to come just as they have for countless generations before. My path to this work also included attending a community college I grew up working in the trades. My mom is a seamstress and my sister's dad who helped to raise me, raised me working in our small irrigation and landscaping company. And when I finished my undergraduate in the sciences, I went back to trade school at TVI, which is what CNM was called back then, and took classes in solar engineering, environmental management, welding, and electronics. At the time, I couldn't have imagined where my path would take me, but I carry those skills and that knowledge with me even today as I'm serving as your Congresswoman. Across my career, I've had the opportunity to work in the trades, to work on and install and wire equipment. I've worked as a researcher and a science educator in schools and communities across the state, and ultimately worked to translate that knowledge into the policy work that I've done in the White House, in the US Senate, as a state legislator in the roundhouse and now serving as your Congresswoman in our nation's capital. And in fact, it is that knowledge and those skills that I put to work every day for New Mexico in the House Natural Resources and Science Space and Technology Committees, where I am working to push meaningful legislation on science and natural resource issues for New Mexico, including legislation that will help to support the work of New Mexico EBSCOR. Your work on the front lines of adapting to and meeting the moment in climate action is essential. Your research and the work that you are doing to develop infrastructure, energy management, and other strategies we need to respond to climate change and build a 21st century grid is absolutely essential. And my job in Congress is to work alongside you to ensure that you have the policies and resources in place to help support this work. New Mexico and our communities are ground zero for climate change. As we all know, we've been facing a historic drought, warming temperatures, and unprecedented and heartbreaking fires this season. These impacts are disproportionately impacting our communities, which are on the front lines, our rural and our tribal communities, our traditional communities, land grants, and our agricultural producers. But New Mexico is also on the front line and at the forefront of the clean energy revolution with two major national labs and research universities, world-class community colleges, think tanks, rural electric co-ops and tribal electric initiatives that are helping, helping to build electric sustainability and sovereignty across the state of New Mexico because our communities are getting creative as they think about how we transition to a clean energy economy. So it's an exciting moment to be working in this space as we're working to make generational investments in our infrastructure and particularly in our grid and renewable energy infrastructure. I was proud to help pass the bipartisan infrastructure law, which passed this past November, along with my colleagues, Senator Lujan and Senator Heinrich and Representative Ledger Fernandez. And this bill will invest billions of dollars to expand our infrastructure and clean energy, including $3 billion in smart grid investments, over $5 billion in grid resilience, funding for critical cybersecurity resilience and preparedness, and over $7 billion in electric vehicle charging networks nationwide. These investments are critical for implementing the results of your work at a wider scale so that we can adapt and create good paying jobs across our state.
As your partner and your advocate representing our communities and federal government, I want you to know that my office is here to serve you and to help make your dreams and your vision for New Mexico happen. We are here to support your initiatives and especially those that will require help and federal funding. And I have hired the first ever grants coordinator specifically for New Mexico's first congressional district to help out. I also want to give you all an update on another crucial piece of legislation we're working on, which is the America Competes Act. Right now, this bill represents the largest single investment in innovation our country has made in generations and included in this package, which is being currently conferenced right now between the House and the Senate, is my Partnerships for Energy Security and Innovation Act, which was my very first bill that I filed after taking office. It will break down barriers for our national labs to partner with universities and tribal colleges to drive innovation and get new energy technologies to market. New Mexico, with our strengths in science and technology, could not be better positioned to maximize this investment in our communities. As we continue to push the boundaries of innovation, equity, and resilience in New Mexico, I am so proud to work alongside you to invest in our students and groundbreaking research and innovation on the ground. I am so incredibly grateful for the amazing work that you do every day across our state. I wanna thank you for your work. It's wonderful to be here with you today, and I hope that you have an amazing summit. Thanks everyone.